కృపా వార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము భిక్షకుడు బెగ్గర్ దావిదు కుమారుడా యేసూ నన్ను కరుణించుము సన్ ఆఫ్ డేవిడ్ జీసస్ హ్యావ్ మర్సీ ఆన్ మీ హ్యావ్ మర్సీ అపాన్ మీ హియర్ వైసీ హె బ్లైండ్ పర్సన్ విత్ నో వన్ టు కేర్ ఫర్ హిస్ నీడ్స్ he is forced to beg for his living it so happened that gospel the good news has reached him the good news that Jesus of Nazareth is the savior of mankind Jesus of Nazareth is Emmanuel God Jesus of Nazareth is making the blind see making the blind regain their sight what a good news what a miracle what a wonder in this world we have many wonders marvelous architectural wonders natural wonders Jesus Christ is a wonder working god Jesus Christ does miracles with Jesus Christ all things are possible for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son jesus christ that whosoever believeth in jesus christ will inherit eternal life and will not perish in the holy bible we have 66 books in total you can be another book in the holy bible when you love jesus christ you will become another book in the holy bible because god honors you when you honor god what is honoring god means honoring god means receiving his only begotten son jesus christ is honoring god nothing else nothing else man is judged at the end of day with only one thing what have you done with my son jesus christ only this question every inhabitant of earth will be facing when each one of us appear before the throne of the judge god what have you done with my son jesus christ 
the answer could be father i have received your son jesus christ as my savior or else the other answer can be i have not received jesus christ it makes much difference when we accept jesus christ as our personal savior what is happening a relationship is established between us and god we will become children of god if we are children we are heirs so inheritance is awaiting us heaven is awaiting us everlasting peace is awaiting us everlasting joy is awaiting us the promised land much much better than the land that is promised to the children of jacob is awaiting all those that receive jesus christ as their personal savior a person in is in darkness darkness causes fear darkness is equal to blindness can we see anything in the darkness can we walk freely without fear in darkness no what does we need we need light so that we can walk boldly we can walk fearlessly because in the light we can clearly see the path ahead we will not stumble we can escape the dangers we can escape the life threatening snares receiving jesus christ is nothing but making our lamps light lord your word is a light to my path and a lamp to my feet what is this word david is talking of this word is nothing but jesus christ receiving jesus christ as one's own personal savior means making the word of god richly dwell in us so that we will have the light of life we will not stumble we will not fear even in the darkness even while we are sleeping when the word of god dwells in us we will be fearless we can victoriously fight with the dark forces that wage war on our soul during the darkness during the night provided we have the lamp in us provided our soul is awakened our soul knows the shepherd jesus christ for gaining eternal inheritance 
for gaining everlasting life everlasting peace everlasting joy and to enter into the celestial city to enter into the holy city whose architect and builder is god himself what we have to do we have to make a choice we have to take a decision by deciding to receive jesus christ as our personal savior we are not going to lose anything so why delay we see so many agents selling life insurance corporate life insurance corporation insurances we see so many agents selling medical insurances by the by our medical insurance by our life insurance policy when we buy our medical insurance health insurance or life insurance or any other thing in this world what we have to do we have to obviously spend our money we have to forego something to gain something because this world runs on the policy called give and take but god's policy is to give freely to give freely for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son jesus christ that whosoever believeth in his son jesus christ will not perish but will have eternal life the big problem here is mankind is so blinded that man do not know what perishing is man do not know what eternal life is our vision is so blinded that the deceptive satan causes us to disbelieve the word of god this is no new tactic this is no new trick of the devil this is the very old trick of devil to disprove to try to disprove the word of god did god say that you will inherit eternal life no there is nothing like eternal life gone all our faith is gone faith gone with the wind faith gone with the floods faith gone with the storms the disciples so close to jesus christ the chosen apostles watching the miracles of jesus christ day in and day out when they faced the tribulation life threatening circumstances in the midst of the sea when there was a great storm when there was a strong wind blowing over the boat in which they are traveling in the midst of the ocean in the darkness in the night when they were to pass through the valley of shadow of death though the good shepherd is with them though jesus christ was within the same boat traveling with them the disciples were disbelieving the disciples were very frightened so what is our faith we have not seen jesus christ we have not seen the miracles done by jesus christ it is obvious that we may disbelieve so we need not be guilty conscious of our disbelief because jesus christ is the author and perfecter of our faith he will make all things well when we invite jesus christ into our heart 
in the midst of storm in the midst of strong wind the disciples were so frightened that the boat was almost sinking in the midst of the ocean then the disciples try to make jesus awake from the sleep lord we are perishing lord we are perishing don't you care for us look at the birds of the sky look at the lilies of the grass oh ye of little faith why do you worry regarding what shall we eat what shall we wear why do you so troubled in your heart regarding the things of this world do your father in heaven do not know that you need clothing do your father in heaven do not know that you need food do your father in heaven do not know that you need good health that all your parts in the body should function well why do you worry look at the birds of the sky look at the lilies of the grass if god can so beautifully provide to the birds of the sky and sustain the lilies of the grass god will very well provide you when the disciples made jesus christ awake saying that lord we are perishing lord we are perishing don't you care for us the disciples have seen day in and day out the great mighty wonderful deeds jesus christ is a wonder working god immanuel god himself is with them still their faith has boundaries their faith has limitations during the times of testing during the time of when they passed through the valley of shadow of death they were so frightened even though jesus christ was with them they were hopeless then jesus christ rebuked the wind the storm and everything became calm if jesus christ is in your heart you will experience divine peace irrespective of the circumstances how threatening how fearful they might be you might have had lost the most precious possessions of yours you might have been diagnosed with a dreadful disease you might have lost all your wealth yet if you have jesus christ you will have calmness in your heart you will have peace in your heart any frightening circumstances will not cause you to be troubled as the jerusalem is surrounded by the mountains those that fear the lord will be surrounded by his angels how is it possible are we not human beings don't we have pain don't we have sorrow but the peace surpassing all understanding all knowledge all wisdom will guard your thoughts so that you will be not shaken you will be not frightened because god is in control of all heaven and earth job had such faith in a very very short span of time everything turned out ups and down in the life of job job is a very god fearing person job is a very prayerful person in all among all the people in the east in those days job was the wealthiest person job was the richest person 
what a great blessing we are not talking of the richest person in india or the richest person in china or the richest person in singapore or the richest person in korea we are talking of the richest person among all those that dwell in the east this globe this earth appears to be so wide for us but it's less than a drop in an ocean in the sight of god in comparison to the whole of the mighty and vast creation of god job was such a wealthy person what a wonderful person job received good testimony from god job was god fearing person job is a righteous person job departed from what is evil job departed from what is wrong job departed from what is sin job has become eyes to the blind job has become father to the fatherless job has become a source of help to the helpless to the physically handicapped people what a wonderful testimony what a great honor in the name of job we have a book in the bible if job's name were to be recorded in the book of life why not your name and why not my name 42 chapters were devoted to the faithful person of the lord faithful servant of the lord the righteous person that has departed from evil the righteous person that has departed and separated himself from what is displeasing to god job found favor in the sight of god because job departed from what is evil in the sight of god job is a god fearing person job is a prayerful person yet it so happened that in a very very short span of time all his fortunes turned upside down but nothing has moved job job lost all his 10 children what a great agony what a great sorrow yet nothing could shake the faith of job because job was so determined the word of god is dwelling richly in the heart of job i will see my savior alive i myself will see my savior alive how good it will be if there is a mediator between man and god how could a sinful man can ever have communication with the holy god so i desire that there should be a mediator from mediator between man and god job was prophesying that god will be sending forth a mediator a mediator of the new covenant a mediator that turns the hearts of children to the father a mediator that pays himself as a ransom to again restore the relationship that was lost in the garden of eden because of the disobedience of adam and eve the disobedience seems to be so simple adam and eve eaten the forbidden fruit nothing was told nothing more was told because god do not want to magnify the sins of man god do not want to reveal the sins of man god want to cover all our iniquities so god has not disclosed in the book of genesis what all adam and eve has done to harm god to break the heart of god just only one word was written eve ate the forbidden fruit and gave the forbidden fruit to her husband also and her husband ate the forbidden fruit only that much was written in the bible we do not know what this fruit is and what eating this fruit means the moment adam and eve 
have eaten the forbidden fruit all their glory is lost all their life eternal life is lost all their innocence is lost sin has entered into them desires of flesh desires of eye pride of life in one word satan made its dwelling into adam and eve the temple of god has been destroyed the temple of god has become devil's den adam and eve gave the place that is sanctified that is meant for god this is what has happened the place meant for god has been given to the ancient serpent devil so as god said you will surely die once you have any friendship with the satan that provokes man to rebellion the fallen angel that has rebelled in the heaven and many of the heavenly stars have fallen from their initial esteem from heaven along with the fallen angel many of the stars in the heaven have fallen because of their rebellion because of their sin because of their pride you will not die devil's words will be diagonally opposite to the word of god o oh lord the sum and substance of your word is truth we may be betrayed we may be deceived we may be disappointed we may be put to shame if we believe any of the things that are being sold in the world we see in the book of pilgrims progress a great fair called vanity fair in the vanity fair there is italian merchandise german merchandise and great business establishments of the english the british the most ancient and the most old is the italian merchandise in the vanity fair each one of the pilgrims are bound to buy something you must buy the goods that we sell we must you must sign the trade deal if you do not sign the trade deal i will impose sanctions upon you the italian merchandise the uk merchandise fortunate that during the times of john bunyan probably john bunyan somehow is quite unaware of the american merchandise i have forgotten or i do not recollect i do not know john bunyan might have missed the american merchandise in the vanity fair we have the italian fair the fair established by the uk the fair established by the german and each one of the pilgrims were forced to buy from their merchandise you have to sign the trade deal otherwise you will not be provided the passage through this way and the pilgrims in order that they have to reach the celestial city they have to they have to they must go through this ancient merchandise established by the italian fair the uk fair the german fair and many more fairs and the poor pilgrims were forced to buy something what will you buy and the pilgrims said we will buy truth proverbs we will buy truth do not sell the truth but buy truth and store the truth with you we buy the truth what is truth we do not have any good like truth 
neither the italian merchandise nor the uk merchandise nor the german merchandise have anything like truth these are all pseudo fairs set up to deceive the pilgrims and to cause desires of flesh desires of i pride of life this merchandise is no new merchandise this is the trick of the ancient serpent paul the serpent uh, the paul the servant of the lord says we are not unaware of the deceptive tactics of the satan how will we be aware of the deceptive tactics of the satan deceptive plots of the satan only by receiving jesus christ into your, into our heart only by allowing the word of god to richly dwell in our heart because he that is in you is stronger than the one that is in the world to overcome the world to overcome the satan to overcome the italian merchandise to overcome the uk merchandise to overcome the american merchandise to overcome all the pseudo trade deals and make a passage to the celestial city we must by truth what is truth pilate is asking what is truth i am the truth i am the way i am the life jesus christ is the truth at the end of the day each one of us will be judged by only one thing what did you do with my son jesus christ did you receive jesus christ have you bought the truth or have you sold the truth judas has sold the truth for 30 silver pieces what has happened the 30 silver pieces were not accepted to be put in the offertory in the holy temple the high priest said this is the money of innocent blood this should not be put in the offertory this money should be used to buy a graveyard a graveyard a potter's field for 30 silver pieces to bury foreigners what good judas has achieved by having desire for wealth the desire for wealth is the root cause for all the evils the motivation the longing for money has led judas to commit suicide judas has hanged himself after selling the innocent blood jesus christ if the ancient serpent could so craftily deceive judas to sell jesus christ to sell the truth who am i who are you we are no greater than judas judas was with jesus christ for three and a half years seeing the miracles seeing the mighty deeds of jesus christ we have not even seen the mighty deeds i have seen most of you have not seen the mighty deeds of jesus christ so you will be no exception to the deceptive plots of devil i have tasted and seen that the lord is good taste and see that the lord is good david has tasted and seen that the lord is good so in spite of being pursued by the king shaul the king shaul was after the life of david filled with demonic forces filled with evil spirits was pursuing the life of the innocent what for pride shaul has given place for pride through pride devil has come and made its dwelling in shaul what did shaul achieve by giving place to evil spirits by giving place to pride by entertaining the demonic forces 
and waging war over the innocent shepherd yet being pursued being made to run from pole to post david has never uttered a word against the anointed king david was fearing god the end of saul was so pathetic because he could not get any revelations from god because he could not get any answers for his prayers from the living god saul has chosen a wrong way to consult a woman filled with unclean spirits he wanted to consult the dead spirits the spirits of the dead through the medium through the woman possessed with unclean spirits and shaul when the philistines were surrounding the nation israel in fear not knowing what to do consults the woman the witch witchcraft to know from prophet samuel what will be happening in near future to the nation israel and to himself through medium the king shaul is consulting who whom are you seeing i am seeing a man in wearing a blanket coming from the lower parts of the earth his appearance is like that of an angel he is no other than samuel the prophet i want to speak to him what for when prophet samuel was alive you have grieved the spirit of samuel i want to talk to samuel what for samuel i am in a life threatening situation what will happen i am being surrounded by the enemies i am being surrounded by all around enemies what will happen to me tomorrow by this time you will be with me because you have left god god has left you who has left god adam and eve has left god son of david jesus have mercy upon me have mercy upon me he is blind he is a beggar yet when the gospel has come to him he humbled himself he he believed in the gospel he believed in the word he believed in the hope message of hope when he overheard that jesus of nazareth was going through the way he made no stone unturned i must get healing from jesus christ i must receive sight from jesus christ if i lose this opportunity i am lost forever jesus son of david how mercy on me how mercy on me this blind beggar is crying and all those around jesus christ blocking jesus christ from the sight of this blind beggar are making this blind beggar shut his mouth do not shout shut your mouth do not shout shut your mouth do we have less number of pastors do we have less number of bishops do we have less number of popes that are blocking like lucifer the glory of jesus christ from the beggars from the dying from the destitute from the idolaters there is no breath of so called pseudo preachers wearing the skin of lamb yet inside they are like wolves tearing down the sheep scattering the sheep frightening the sheep Do not shout shut your mouth 
the more he was oppressed the more he was suppressed the more this blind beggar started shouting jesus son of david how mercy on me the prayer the cry of this blind beggar has fallen into the ears of jesus christ and jesus stopped you might have had nothing you might be a simple beggar you might have been betrayed you might have been humiliated by your own fear not you have the good news you have the message of hope today we bring to you the good news the news of hope the news of great joy today in the city of david a savior is born unto you he will be called jesus christ he will deliver his people from his sins this is not the austerer story this is not the old story because jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever i am the same yesterday today and forever because i live you also will live i will not leave you as orphans i will send my holy spirit what do you want lord i want to see simple how can the blind beggar ask jesus christ that he want to see unless he believes in jesus christ that jesus christ is able to provide him sight with the faith of a mustard seed if we command the mountain that is blocking our way to be removed from our way and to and made to fall in the mighty oceans it will be so that is the power of prayer yet you may have the faith that can make mountains move but if you do not have love it's of no use to you you might have the ability to profess the future you might have been blessed with the blessing of prophecies yet if you do not have love it's of no use to you even if you give all the wealth that you have for the for feeding the poor if you are not to have love it's of no use to you even if you were to be willing to offer your body as a burnt offering yet if you do not have love it's of no use to you first corinthians chapter 13 we see what love is what is this love this is jesus christ you may have the spirit to prophesy you might have the faith that can make mountains move yet if you do not have the love of jesus christ at the end of day the day it will not be of any use to you lord did we not profess in your name lord did we not to heal the dreadful sicknesses in your name lord did we not cast the demons in the mighty name of jesus christ lord open the door for us open the door for us i do not know you you hypocrites i do not know you what a great sorrow after doing so many preachings after delivering so many sermons after doing so many works of healing if we are unknown to jesus christ what is the use i do whatever what i do only those things that i see my father in heaven doing all through the ministry of jesus christ on earth for the th- three and a half years jesus christ does the things that he has seen what the father was doing in heaven me and my father are the same i have come to this world to reveal my father no one has ever seen god i have come to this world to reveal god the father to man created in the image of god jesus christ is the son of god dwelling in flesh and blood jesus christ is the righteous right hand of god i will help you with my righteous right hand 
Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1 I will help you with my righteous right hand who is this righteous right hand of God who has believed the message that we have delivered to whom the righteous right hand of God is revealed Isaiah chapter 53 to whom the righteous right hand of God is revealed who is the righteous right hand of God Jesus Christ behold this is my chosen servant upon whom I have ordained him with my spirit upon whom my spirit rests I have come to this world to fulfill all the prophecies all the words of the prophets John the Baptist was imprisoned from the prison John the Baptist sent forth his disciples when his faith was being shaken he wants to know if Jesus Christ is indeed the promised Messiah or they have to wait for someone else when the disciples comes to Jesus Christ and asks John the Baptist want to know if you are the Messiah or we need to wait for someone else John the Baptist the greatest among all those that the woman has begotten his faith he itself was shaken what is your faith what is my faith John the Baptist who revealed the glory of Israel the Messiah to the Israel behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of mankind when imprisoned he shake his faith is being shaken Jesus are you the promised one or we need to wait for someone else if you are the Messiah why should I be in prison it will be so what can we do there will be enmity between your seed and the Satan seed the serpent will bite you on your foot and you will hit the serpent on its head the enmity has started in the garden of Eden what can we do when the disciples comes to Jesus Christ and ask John the Baptist want to know if you are the Messiah or if you are the Savior or we need to wait for someone else then Jesus Christ says tell to John the Baptist what are all you are seeing tell him that the blind sees prophet Isaiah chapter 35 the blind will see the dumb will speak the dumb will sing songs the deaf will be able to hear all the prophecies in the Old Testament regarding Jesus Christ were fulfilled by Jesus Christ Lord I want to see Jesus Christ opened the eyes of Bartamai and the Bartamai could so clearly see today is there breadth of scientific publications in medicine in the field of technology is there breadth of advances in space research yet all around us we see so many blind desiring to see all around us we see so many dumb we see so many deaf why the so many multitudes of surgeons are not able to solve the problem of blindness around us Lord why is he blind is this his parent sin or his own sin is he a sinner that he is blind no neither he nor his parents are sinners only for God's name to be glorified he is blind from childhood there was a person that could not see Jesus Christ approaches the blind person and asks do you want to see if you were not to have the opportunity to hear the gospel Jesus Christ comes to you Bartholomew has heard the gospel 
while he while Jesus Christ was going on the road on the path where the Bartholomew the Bartholomew the blind beggar was sitting Jesus Christ the moment he heard the cry of Bartholomew stopped while all others were rebuking the beggar Jesus Christ stopped no other person is as precious to jesus christ as you because you are in need because you are oppressed by all because you are suppressed by all if you are oppressed if you are suppressed if you are in need if you are blind if you are dumb if you are sick if you are on your deathbed if you are in poverty jesus christ will be close to you if you are blind if you are dumb if you are deaf do not be disappointed do not be sorrowful praise god that you are not sinning with your eye praise god that you are not sinning with your mouth praise god that you are not sinning with your ears what man with his eyes and ears and mouth if they function properly how well he is using it is good for you to enter into life with only one eye rather than entering into hell with both the eyes if your eyes object you hinder you to receive jesus christ remove pluck pluck away your eye it is good for you to enter into heaven <laughs> enter into eternal life with only one eye rather than having both the eyes and falling into the bottomless pit if there is no hell if there is no perishing why at all we see so much regarding hell in the bible for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son jesus christ that whosoever believeth in the lord will not perish if there is no nothing like perishing why at all jesus christ has to offer himself for the ransom of sins of mankind god is just until and unless the law is accomplished neither a letter nor a stroke will be removed from the law law is meant for making man live a just life yet none can fulfill the law none can accomplish the law so for all have sinned death reigned over all to deliver man from death jesus christ took all our iniquities all our sins upon himself god the just judge transferred all our iniquities onto the sinless lamb his only begotten son when christ was crucified on the cross the law was nailed to the cross because jesus christ has accomplished and fulfilled the law all through the 33 and a half years of his earthly dwelling jesus christ never violated the word of god that is why god could say this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased what a wonderful testimony when jesus christ heard the cry of the blind beggar jesus christ stopped in this world we are so busy we have so much following so many are dependent on us so many are under our control so many are under our leadership so we do not have time for the ordinary we do not have time for the oppressed we do not have time for the suppressed we do not have time for the blind the, the lame the dumb the lame if god himself were to have the time for the blind and the poor and the beggars how much more time we should have i am the way what does that mean you are bound to follow my footsteps to enter into the celestial city if you do not follow my steps you will land up in a in the hell i am the way i am the truth i am the life if we want life we have to follow the footsteps of jesus christ if jesus christ were to stop by hearing the cry of the blind beggar in 
need in poverty in helplessness you and me should also stop who is blind except my servant jacob who is blind all around us we see so many blind yet we have no concern for them why it is as simple as that we have not received jesus christ into our heart if we have jesus christ in our heart we will be able to see so clearly the need around us what christ has seen what christ has heard all around the people could not hear do not shout do not shout shut your mouth shut your mouth we see so many well designated religious people in india the age old father fathers and the preachers and the pastors have made a lasting impact on the minds of people dwelling in slum areas people dwelling in absolute poverty and the fathers the pastors the preachers the missionaries were known to be angels servants of god alleviating people from poverty alleviating people from suffering delivering people from oppression with love the people dwelling in slum areas in poverty in sickness in sorrow in agony used to call the servants of god as padri in their own language they will call in their own typical accent because they do not know how to speak english they call fathers as padri they have seen the works of the fathers they have seen the sacrificial deeds of the fathers where are the deeds of the old where are the deeds of the days of old lord revive your deeds of the old in the midst of the year renew your deeds as of the old in the midst of the year habakkuk is praying are the things around us not similar to the days of habakkuk many hopeless situations prophet habakkuk is seeing all around him the land is not yielding its fruit the olive trees have no fruit the fig trees have no fruit all around us poverty all around us sorrow do we have less sorrow today the farmers are not allowed to go into their fields to plow to cultivate the land then what will happen obviously the kind of famine the kind of drought in the drought in the times of habakkuk will also be seen lord revive renew your deeds in the midst of the year your mighty deeds the fathers the preachers the bishops have to carry on the work of the lord the deeds of the lord should be reflected in their actions world has great expectations from christians christians are known to shine forth the light of jesus to stop while they hear when they hear the cry of the needy and to provide sight to the blind and to provide ability to speak to the dumb we are not even able to take the side of the oppressed people and judge correctly how can we make the dumb speak that is too far from us job was an eye to the blind job was a father to the fatherless they will cause much agony they will cause much suffering to job 